Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I'm gonna show you all how to make Gina Young style sweet potato casserole. The holidays are right around the corner. This is one recipe you want to write down for sure. It's so easy, it's a lot of fun to make and listen here, it tastes so good. Here's what you're gonna to need to make Gina Young style sweet potato casserole. You all never had this before, you better make you some. You better make you some. Okay, everyone, our ingredients that you will need. You will need brown sugar, as well as two large eggs. I have a half a stick of butter. You will need chopped pecans. You will need white sugar, and I've used four of these 29 ounce cans of sweet potatoes. Okay, now what I've done is make sure you drain it very well. Okay, drain your sweet potatoes very, very, very well. And you wanna heat your sweet potatoes up. If you heat them up in the microwave, that's fine. Just get them a little warm, just a little warm. Or you can just put them in a pan like I did. Just put them on the stove on low for maybe 10 minutes and just keep stirring them until they get nice and warm. You will need ground cinnamon. Those of you that love nutmeg, you can put a little bit of nutmeg in, okay? You're gonna need vanilla extract, as well as a pinch of sea salt. You're gonna need heavy whipping cream. If you didn't wanna use heavy whipping cream, you can use a, a can, oh, or I'm sorry, you can use a half a can of evaporated milk. We're gonna use some flour, and that's about it. Let's make sure your hands are impeccably clean, and let's get going. This is very simple. I'm gonna use a stand-up mixer. If you don't have a stand-up mixer, no worries. You don't have to worry about that. You can mix this mixture up by hand or you can use a handheld mixer, all right? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I want to bring the mixer close so that you all can see down into the mixer. All right, so y'all can see what I'm doing. So the first thing that we're gonna do is let's get all of our warmed up sweet potatoes. Let's see, I got a little bit of water in there that I wanna drain out, just like so. And if that happens to you when you heat yours up, just drain it off like I'm doing, okay? And no issues. Now let's get all of these beautiful sweet potatoes down into your mixer. Like I said, this here can be, there's a sweet potato skin, I'm gonna push that out. Um, or you can hand, hand mix it, because these potatoes are so soft, it's gonna be so easy. All right, just like this. If you have any sweet potato skins like that, just just take it out. All right, first thing that we wanna do is we're gonna measure one and a half cups of sugar and put down into our sweet potatoes. We're going to eyeball cinnamon. If you want nutmeg, put you some in there. Me personally, I like a nice amount of cinnamon. I wanna be able to taste that cinnamon. We're gonna put some vanilla. Just put you some in there. When I use vanilla, I use a lot. <laughs> I love the taste. It's gonna give you amazing flavor. Absolutely it will. We're gonna put a pinch of sea salt. When I say a little bit, just a little bit. That's it, guys. It'll bring out the flavor and the sweetness of our potatoes, okay? Let's put, and make sure these are cool enough that it can stand the eggs. You would hate to put your two eggs in there and you make scrambled eggs. You don't want that. Okay, so next what we're gonna do, I'm gonna measure out one and a half cups of sugar. We're gonna mix everything up, and then we're gonna put this half a stick of butter in, only a half a stick, all right? Gonna put some of this heavy whipping cream or your evaporated milk. Put it in just like so, you don't need a lot. Just a little bit goes a long way, trust me when I tell you this. So let me measure my sugar and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm putting the sugar in. 
and then we'll give this a nice mix. And then what you're gonna do is you wanna taste it. You always wanna taste it, just taste a little tiny bit of it and see if you're happy with the seasonings. If you're happy with the seasonings, then we'll move on with the process. I'm gonna start this off on a low stir, okay? And then we can move it up a little bit. You don't want for potatoes to go all over the place, okay? So I'm gonna start really nice and slow. And several times you might wanna go in and use a rubber spatula just to kind of push everything down, okay? And we're gonna put some, um, we are going to put some flour in and the flour thickens up your sweet potatoes just a little bit and we're only gonna use a little bit and I'll show you that, all right? I'm gonna do this several times and scrape that down, all right? Start it on low, just like so. I hope that you all are having a beautiful day today as well as a great work week. If you all never had this before, you better make you some. Absolutely you should. This recipe is amazing and I make it during the holidays. I do not let a holiday go past without making Gina Young sweet potato casserole. It's easy, it's fun, and like I said earlier, it tastes so good. I'm gonna move our speed up okay so we can get things rocking and rolling if you all haven't seen my video that i put out earlier for the garlic butter steak check it out because it was amazing and also if you haven't seen the other video that i put out today for the honey smashed buttered potatoes check it out those videos were amazing okay i'm going to take the time to stop this I want to scrape our sides down so everything can get well incorporated because sometimes there's potatoes in the bottom that don't get fully breaking down, you know, broke down. So you take that time to do that. Okay, I want to give this a nice taste and see what I think here. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. doggone that's good. Now what I wanna do, I feel like I need, right away I feel like I need a little bit more vanilla. And we're gonna do just that. That's what you can do when you are cooking. You know, when you go and purchase it from someone else, you get the measurements that they want. When you're making it at home, you put how much you want in your recipe. You know, you want more sugar, more cinnamon, put more in. I'm gonna put between a tablespoon and two tablespoons of flour, okay? And I just eyeball mines because I know how much I need. All right, beautiful. And it's just all purpose flour. If you have self rising flour, that's fine too, no problems. Okay, back to mixing, just like so. Oh yeah, can y'all see down in there? Beautiful. And this is gonna be nice and fluffy, I'll show you. And let me show you, here's the pan that we're gonna use, okay? So you wanna make sure you have a deep enough pan that's gonna be able to hold that beautiful sweet potato filling and then also that nice, beautiful, golden brown pecan crust that we're gonna put on top. I'm gonna to turn this up on high. We're gonna give it a nice whip. And then our sweet potato mixture is done. And really the mixture is, is simple. Oh yeah. And don't forget to put that half a stick of melted butter in here. It really makes a difference. And that is salted butter. Okay, I've gave it a nice little whisk and we're actually done. Let's go ahead and turn this off, just like so. Okay, they will be some strings from your sweet potatoes or yams, whichever you choose to use. Sometimes if I grab yams, I just grab them. Sweet potatoes and yams, same thing to me. <laughs> you know, it's not really the same thing, but they taste the same. All right, there we go. That part's done. Let's take our beater off, just like so. And then, 
we're going to put this into our pan. Let me move my mixer to another counter. I'm telling you one thing, if you all never smelled sweet potatoes baking in the oven, that's what my kitchen smells like right now. Even though we haven't started to bake it, but it smells amazing. Absolutely it does. You don't need to grease your pan or anything, okay? We're gonna put this down in there, just like so. Beautiful. Wee. All right, and like I said, these are 29 ounce cans. You can use four or you can use five for this recipe. All right, smooth this out. Take your time, take your time. Have patience in that kitchen. Listen here, I always like to say it. Trust me, if you can have patience in that kitchen, oh, you're gonna have you some good food because patience is the key to good cooking. Absolutely it is. You cannot make a meal without patience. You have to have patience. You cannot rush anything that you make. All right? So I'm just gonna smooth this out and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, moving on. You can see how this is nice and smoothed out. Make sure that your oven is at 350 degrees. Okay, and when this comes out, I'll let you know exactly how long it takes to cook. All right? This right here. Here's what we're gonna do. This is just, I'm using this for a bowl, okay? So let's mix two, let's see here. And it's not gonna be, okay. <laughs> hey, listen here, we'll make it work. We will make it work. So this here, this right here, we know that's one cup, all right? So then I will make this cup less because we have that there, all right? No issues, no problem there. We're gonna make our beautiful topping, okay? We're gonna start off with two cups and if I feel like I need a little bit more then by all means we'll put a little bit more this is a half cup okay see that see how we're pressing it down assuming that that little bit right there is the other half all right next what we're gonna do here's where it gets kind of fun we're gonna put between a tablespoon and two tablespoons of flour in. That's gonna help to keep your crust or your topping really nice and airy and fluffy. Okay, and it's gonna help it hold together somewhat. And then you have pecans. Let's open up our pecans. Dump them on in. If you wanna make your pecans much smaller, then you can, okay? And it, it all depends on you how much pecans you want to put in yours. You can put a little bit, you can put a lot. Me, I just kind of eyeball it and throw some in there, all right? That's how that works. So there's that. This here was an eight ounce bag. And this one here was a four ounce bag of our pecans. And then I have a stick of butter that we're going to mix everything together okay I've melted the butter mix it right on in there's no right or wrong way this will always come together even if the measurements aren't on spot okay trust me when I tell you this now years ago I used to take this and I would put the butter into a frying pan and then I would heat the butter up and the brown sugar and then I would put my pecans and flour in. And I've learned that you don't need to do that. You can just give this a nice mix together with the melted butter. Hey, and listen here, you throw it on top and it's gonna cook up the same way. All right, so I do it this way now. So for around about two, three years, I've been doing it this way. And it comes out amazing every time. As long as you use that stick of butter. A stick of butter makes a difference. 
And that little bit of flour, it really helps you. I'm gonna put a little tiny bit more flour, okay? Just like so. And then I wanna put some vanilla because you have to have vanilla in your topping. You want every layer of this beautiful, you know, you can call it a dessert to taste like amazing, to taste like vanilla and cinnamon, brown sugar and butter. Who, who wouldn't love this topping? Especially when you put that vanilla in there. So let's toss it just a little bit more and then we're gonna spread it right on top. And this is going in the oven 350 degrees. How simple, how simple was this? And then when you all see this once it's baked up, mm, 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 you're definitely gonna to wanna to have this on your dinner table for Saturday or Sunday and also for your next holiday. Make it for your family and friends. They'll love you for it. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Just start to put the mixture on top, okay? And then you wanna spread it out. Make sure you spread it out even and make sure you take your time to spread all of your sweet potato mixture and push it to the edges so that your crumble does not go down into your mixture, okay? because you wanna have sweet potatoes at the bottom and this beautiful crumbly mixture only at the top. And it'll stay at the top as long as you've smoothed your sweet potatoes out really good. See this here? You don't need to pack it down. Just, just, just do like this. All right, 350 degrees. We're gonna say a nice prayer over this. We're gonna give this a try. I'm gonna let you all know what this tastes like. Hooey, I'm telling you one thing. You better make you so. You better make you so. This right here is amazing. And I cannot wait till each and every one of you try this. This is one of my husband's favorite meals for the holiday. And I love making it because it's so simple. So simple and lots of fun. All right, here's how that goes going in the oven right now. Don't put this on the top rack. Don't put it on the bottom rack. If you put it on the top rack, it'll burn. You put it on the bottom rack, it'll burn. You put it on that middle rack and it's going to do exactly what it's supposed to do. Remember that sugar, uh, not the sugar, but the flour. The flour is going to help to set your sweet potato up. So it's somewhat like a souffle at the bottom. Going in the oven. I'll be back when it comes out. It has been one hour, one hour, and we have Gina Young style sweet potato casserole. Lord, we thank you for this meal once again, the roof over our head, the food that you give us. Amen. Let's dig in. You always want to let your sweet potato casserole cool down a little bit before you serve it, because if you don't, it won't really set up for you, okay? It is... 11 o'clock p.m. I know, I know, I know I'm crazy, but we have an awesome video. And this is a video that I won't have to do tomorrow. <laughs> so we're going to dig in. I've only let it cool down for 10 minutes, but we're going to go ahead and dive right on in. We're going to give this a try. I'm going to let you all taste this. I'm going to let you know what this tastes like. If you all enjoyed this video, Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends. Tell everyone you know what Jeannie Young is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Absolutely. Hooey, I'm going to dig down into this bad boy right here. This right here is love. It's so easy to make and it's tasty. Ooh, that's good. Look at this casserole. Look down in the middle of that beautiful casserole. Simple, lots of fun, and it tastes amazing. Let's give this a try. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, we're going to dig in. This is hot. It's hot. It's bubbly. We have to blow this before we taste it. First thing I want to do, 
I want to taste the filling first and then I want to taste that beautiful caramelized top. Taste that right there. Look at that. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tastes just like the holidays. My goodness, the holidays couldn't come fast enough with this sweet potato casserole. Mmm, 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 mmm. Ooh-wee, that's good. Mmm. Look at this beautiful crispy. Look at that. Hold on, guys. This right here is what it should look like. Beautiful, fluffy sweet potatoes at the bottom. And then this amazing crunchy crust on the top. Look at that. There's a good view. Hoo and as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Good night. You all never had this before. You better make yourself. You better make yourself.